guys, I'm Sung Jung Long Guest. Welcome to Asian at Home. And today I'm going to show you how to make lapoki. It's the same thing as a tteokbokki, but instead of the rice cake, which is a tteok, we are making with ramen. So there's where the lapoki coming from. Ramen is a short word from the initial from the ramen. So I'm so excited to make this recipe because Jacob is obsessed with lapoki while he was in Korea. Right here I have a four cups of Korean ultimate stock. It has a kombu dried seaweed, some anchovy, garlic, onion, green onion, peppercorns. It's really packed of Korean flavor right here. And I'm gonna use this as my base but if you cannot get all the ingredients or are a little too lazy for making Korean stock from scratch you go ahead and use three cups of chicken stock and one cup of water so I'm going to pour this four cups of Korean ultimate stock into a pot well in my case it's a wok <laughs> just gonna pour in so into the stock, I'm going to add three tablespoons of gochujang. It's a Korean red pepper paste. It's spicy, it's tangy, it's sweet, it's salty. It has all the flavor that you want. And one tablespoon of gochugaru, Korean red pepper flakes. If you don't have it, you can skip it. And if you don't like too spicy, you can definitely skip it. But to me, for color-wise, for the extra kick, I definitely need it for me. One and a half tablespoon of soy sauce. Two tablespoons of sugar. Little small pinch of salt. And I'm just gonna stir so the gochujang and sugar will all melt it into the broth. All right. Now I'm gonna turn the heat to high and bring this to boil. Meanwhile, let's get our fish cake. I'm just going to slice it into long pieces. I'm using this flat, wide, thin fish cake. This is actually the one we use the most for tteokbokki or lakbokki. But you can use any fish cake that you can find at your grocery store. And let's cut up some cabbage. So they are both are about 6 ounces. Just slice them, that's all. Some green onions. So two to three green onions, depending on the size of your green onions. This white part of a green onion setting aside with the fish cake and the cabbage. And this green part, I'm just gonna cut it like this and add at the last. Nice presentation with the red sauce and the green, green onions are popping all the colors together. Mm, it's gonna be so beautiful. I also prepared some shredded carrots. All right, my broth is already boiling now. I'm going to add all the fish cake white part of the green onions and the cabbage. Just stir and bring back to boil. And we are just going to let it keep boiling for about two to three minutes so the fish cake release all their flavor to the broth. It's gonna be really amazing and the vegetables will cook the nice and soft. Mm. So excited. So while it's boiling, let's talk about the ramen that we're gonna add into our lapoki. So I purchased this only only instant ramen noodles. There's no seasoning package or nothing because we wouldn't need it because we already create all the delicious flavor by ourselves with all the sauces. But um, yeah, you can find this from online. I will put the link down below or you can actually purchase this from your local Korean market because you know Korean loves instant ramen noodles. Okay, before I add the noodles, I'm gonna taste it real quick. Mm. It's really, really good. I think you need a little pinch of salt. By the way, I thought I would share this Korean home-cooked meal secret, which is a dashida. <laughs> My mom always say, little hint of dashida will hurt nobody and no one will notice it. You don't need a lot. Just like a little pinch of salt, that's all you need. Honestly, if you made a stock like I did or using a chicken stock, you wouldn't need it. You wouldn't need it. It would be way too much. And I just use it a little bit just to show you how much you should use. You don't need like a tablespoon of it. You just need a little, a little small pinch. Let's see the flavor improvement. Oh yes, it hits the spot right there. <laughs> it's perfect. All right, now I'm gonna add my ramen noodles. 
cook the ramen noodles until you're liking. If you like fully, fully cooked the noodles, go ahead and fully, fully cooked. If you like a little al dente texture because you're fancy like that, go ahead and do so. I'm gonna cook, hmm, go to fancy way doing al dente. How about that? My ramen is almost cooked. This is time to add nice green color into my lap, okay? And this is the additional if you like to. Go ahead and add hard boiled egg. This is actually me and Jacob's favorite when we eating lapoki or tteokbokki. We have to have a hard boiled eggs. Yeah guys, this is it. Pretty much done. We usually serve this type of food with fork. So I'm gonna serve with the fork. Oh, nice and a lot of juice. You know why we have so much juice? Because we have a lot of things to dip in. The egg yolk, definitely. Those deep fried vegetable or protein or mandu, the dumplings, some gimbap. Oh yes. By the way, I'm sorry Jacob hasn't been really joined us the last few videos. Is it because he's busy with his work, military work, and I've been filming this uh, while he's at work because we have so many things going on. So anyways. It's much better than eating just regular instant ramen, okay? Egg with those just juices. If you liked my lapoki recipe, please give me a thumbs up. And please, if you ever try my recipe, go ahead and take a picture and tag me on Instagram or Facebook so I can see them. They always make my day. I love seeing your recreation. And subscribe my channel for more inspirations and ideas of Asian home cooking. Thank you so much for watching me today. And remember, you can always cook Asian food at your house making it easy and fun. I'm Sanjang Longast and this is Asian at Home and I'll see you next time. Bye! Mm -hmm.